Hello students, in this video we will study about image formation by a concave lens. So far we studied about convex lens. The convex lens in different positions how the image was forming this we made a study of it. Now we move on to concave lens. You see in a concave lens what is going to happen if a ray comes parallel to the principal axis it will diverge and we extrapolate it and get a point. I can take a simple example. I can take a ray parallel to the principal axis and see what is happening to this ray. Fine. And this ray will diverge and it will diverge like this. Fine. And we extrapolate it backward and what we get that point which is striking on the principal axis you call this as focus. Right. And this is diverged. Now we need to locate, we need to locate, this is the incident ray. We need to locate for example an object which has been placed between F and 2F. Let me keep the object between F and 2F and this is the object AB. Where will the image form and what will be the nature of image? So for example I say that object is placed object is placed between f and 2f okay between f and 2f so what do we need now we need another ray let us take another ray from the tip of the flame pass through the focus pass through this through the focus right as it is passing through the focus right and it is going out like this fine now you can very well see that clearly that these two are meeting at a point here and it is in front of the lens lens is here object is here and the image also is forming in the same side so naturally the image is virtual the image is virtual okay so let us say a dash B dash is the image which has been formed. So B obvious very clear about it. We don't need another ray at all because these two rays suffices. It is enough for us to locate the image. Now look at the image. What is the nature of the image and where is the image is getting formed? These two points we have to understand. The image is formed in the same side as the object. First is it is formed in the same side as the object okay that is whenever it is formed in the same side as the object it is a virtual image the image is virtual okay and whenever it is a virtual image it will be always a erect image it is also a erect image right now what about the size of the image sizes you see it is diminished image the image is diminished diminished it has become small in the size, right? So, this is what you find in this case. You may get a doubt. Suppose if we keep an object somewhere at 2F, what will happen? And if we keep it somewhere beyond 2F, what will happen? I will take one more case and I will do another case also and see where the formation of image is going to be. Fine. So, let me just take these things out from here. Okay. So, this ray anyway it is going to diverge right so we can keep this ray as it is extrapolated fine and the image where it is going to form which we will see i am going to take the object now beyond 2f the object is beyond 2f now this has become a and b fine and i am removing this object within f and 2f okay it's very simple just a small changes I am making. I am not making any big changes at all. Right. And take from the tip. Right. The ray which is parallel to the principal axis. It passes through the focus and it appears to start from here. And this is the principal axis which we have taken. And this is the optical center. Okay. Now object is beyond 2F. Then we will take another ray. Right. 
and this ray again is passing through the optical center take the ray pass it through the optical center right optical center fine that is done the ray is going like this if you want you can extrapolate extend it some more further like this right for symmetry now again where is the image you see again the image is pointed here again it is forming in the same side right a dash b dash it has become much more diminished and you see object is beyond 2f beyond 2f fine now what about the image image is same size as the object and also i will include one more term it is falling within focus within focus before the foc uh, between the focus and the optical center within focus and again you see whenever it is the same side it is virtual and it is erect and it is diminished so these conditions will remain same so as far as concave lens is concerned you will find that wherever you keep the object it will produce a similar it will produce the same type of uh, what do you call same type of conditions like virtual erect and diminished and the size might vary but it will all move within this point only this you have to be very 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 clear now one last, ex last exercise i would like to do with that you would have completed the lens part of it the diagrammatic part of it and then derivations and formula which will come in the next video we can study in more in detail right so the basic concept now what i'm telling i'm going to take a convex lens now again i'm going back to convex lens in convex lens okay let me erase it convex lens okay now this is a very special case let me first draw a convex lens a thin convex lens this is the optical axis and let me draw the principal axis the main axis fine let me extend it let me mark the points from here 25 centimeter f 50 centimeter 2f f and 2f is marked i said to you geometrical optics so we have to use proper measurement if not the image formation will not be proper again 25 centimeter and 50 centimeter f and 2f this is the principal axis okay this is the principal axis all the time we took an object and the image was forming at the focus suppose if the line is not coming parallel to the principal axis this is the optical center okay if the ray is falling obliquely at an angle then what should you expect let me take an exercise and try let me take a ray first ray and pass it through the optical center this is my reference line because it will go straight like this without deviation it is coming at an angle it is not coming parallel to the principal axis i am going to locate the image position let me take another ray parallel to this oblique ray because we need two rays in order to locate the image formation and the second ray is coming now what is going to happen this ray is going to bend you will find that it is going to bend and form the image okay you'll find that it will bend like this and it is not going to pass through the focus keep that in mind it is not exactly going to pass through the focus but you see what is going to happen it will pass like this right it is bending at an angle okay now where is the image where is the image formed when we observe it carefully you will see that if i drawn it more precisely right i will shift it little bit of it and the image would have formed something like this and we will locate this as the focus the image 
which is formed here when the ray is coming oblique like this at an angle then when you make the proper measurement and you see how the image is formed the image will not be point the image will not be a point one as it came in the parallel but it will form like a plane in the focus it will be like a small plane in a small plane in the focus but you can you observe this very carefully we said that a magnifying glass now suppose if i have this lens here and if i allow the rays to come from here and i find that the focus sometime will not be exactly forming you will find that the focus something in this area to be like this because the image cannot be sometime pinpointed because the rays need not be necessarily parallel exactly parallel so they will form in this and this is called focal plane this is called focal plane somewhere in this plane it can form somewhere here somewhere here in different positions it can form but this is the main condition you have to learn if it comes at oblique then what will happen because again i will reference one more line for you and from that you can understand better if i take a ray parallel to the same ray is coming parallel to the principal axis what would have happened to this ray it would have passed through the point exactly called focus okay whereas here since it is not parallel it is oblique at an angle it is forming not at the focus but it is forming at the whole focus plane suppose if a ray is coming from here and if it is striking at an angle then same principle we have to use and you'll find that it can form in any point here and this we refer to as focal plane with this now we are clear about what are all the basic uh, ray diagrams in the case of a convex lens and a concave lens in the next video we will study about uh, uh, the formula between the object distance image distance and focal length thank you so much